What's up, moviegoers? Welcome to the Markio Podcast. I'm your host, Anthony. In today's episode of the Markio Podcast, I'm talking about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. Now, this story and movie takes place four years before the events of the 2003 remake. Yeah, try and understand that for a second. Um, originally, the movie was titled The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Origin, but then it was changed to The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. The problem I have with this movie is that it feels like they're trying to remake the remake. It felt like it was the same movie all over again. Uh, they tried to make Jordana Brewster look like Jessica Biel a little bit. Matt Bomber is in this. And the only good thing about this movie is that the actor who played Leatherface does return. And Arlie Ermey as the sheriff returns in this role. The movie was released on October 6, 2006, has a runtime of 91 minutes, the budget was $16 million, and it only grows to $51.8 million at the box office. Now here's the thing, I didn't even know this movie existed until a few years after it was released. I was like, okay, where does this movie take place? What's the story? Oh, it takes place four years before the events of the remake starring Jessica Biel. Why? Why would you do that? Why? Why do that? The remake was so good and amazing. Just because that movie made so much money doesn't mean that you can actually make something and actually make it go back to the beginning of that story. Uh, the way the way this movie looked and felt was exactly like the remake, and I didn't like it at all. And they probably wanted to remake the remake, but they couldn't do it because nobody wanted to go see this movie. It was released almost three years to the day after the uh, remake back in 2006. The first one was released in 2003, so they definitely rushed this into production, and you can tell certain things in this movie were rushed. This movie is, like I said, 91 minutes long. It's a quick, quick watch, but it feels like it was done before, and the reason it was done before is because the 2003 version was the same exact thing, and this movie was that. This movie was the same movie as 2003, just took place four years before, and then four years later, you know what happens with Jessica Biel's character and her family, or her group of friends. So this movie didn't do it for me. It just fell flat. Uh, the only thing was good was that the same actor who played Leatherface came back. Arlie Ermey came back as the sheriff, and that was it. So this is going to be a very short episode of the Markio podcast. Basically, I pretty much know that not many people saw this movie because nobody knows about it. When I mentioned, oh, did you know that they made more movies after the remake? People look at me and like, they did? Yeah, sadly they did. And it's, I don't know why, why they did that, but they did. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. And if you think they should have stopped after the remake. Because like I said, this story in the beginning takes place four years before the events of the 2003 remake. Talk about confusing and talk about how the timeline works. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? And be sure you tune into the next episode of the Markio Podcast where I talk about Texas Chainsaw 3D. And be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new videos and new podcast episodes on the Markio Productions YouTube page. And follow Markio Productions on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And follow me, Anthony, your host on Instagram and Twitter at Mr. Filmstock. And follow the Markio Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll leave a link to all the social media accounts in the description box below. You can check it out and follow along. All right, everyone, that does it for today's episode. I'm your host, Anthony. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>